Hi, Sydney. This is Miss S. Before we start to read our book called The Totem Tale, I would like us to learn a little bit more about totem poles. Today, I'm going to be reading an article entitled 13 Totally Terrific Totem Pole Facts. While I'm reading this article, I want you to remember or recall at least four items um, that are important because you will be telling them back to me at the end of the session. All right, here we go. Let's get started. 13 totally terrific totem pole facts. Number one, totem poles were a record of events. Some totem poles are a recording of important events that happened in the past. They tell stories of those families and clans they represent, which could be myths or legends or something that happened to a person. The totem pole is honoring. Two, totem pole meanings. But there are different kind of totem poles that have other meanings. Some are used to welcome or scare off strangers. Some celebrate a special occasion like a wedding or even maybe a birth. Some are memorials to remember an important member of a tribe. And some are made to shame a person or another tribe who has done something wrong. So this is a picture of a totem pole in which they are shaming somebody. Three, the word totem comes from the Algonquin word ududim, meaning his kinship group. This means a family or clan. Totem poles um, are, sorry, totem poles represent indigenous families and clans. Indigenous, sorry, Miss S screwed that up. Four, totem pole colors. Black, red, white, and blue-green were the main colors of paint used on totem poles. Hmm. Number five, they're really tall. Some totem poles can be as high as 18 meters tall. That's taller than a street light, which averages between 7.5 and 9 meters. Okay, special wood. Totem poles are typically made from old red or yellow cedar trees. Cedar doesn't rot like other woods, so it can survive for many years. Very cool to know. Seven, totem pole creators. The original totem poles were created by only six nations of the western part of North America. The Haida, the Nahuac, the Kwakwak Yawak, the Clinkit, the Simshian, and the Salish. <clears throat> Eight, totem pole animals. The animals you will see most often on a totem pole are the eagle, raven, thunderbird, bear, beaver, wolf, killer whale, and frog. And here we see, right here must be a killer whale, then we see a frog, and here we see a beaver. Number nine, carving tools. Totem poles were originally carved by hand using sharpened stones, seashells, bones, or even beaver teeth at times. Wow, they didn't use a knife. They used all of those different fun tools. 10, carving styles. The 10 different tribes have different carving styles. The Haida totems have big eyes and deep carvings. Um, the Kwakawak, Carvings are also deep, but the eyes are more narrow. The Shimshan and the Nualt totems are known to have carvings of more supernatural and non-human beings. Coast Salish totems featured more human-looking car carvings. Number 11. Totem pole raising. Today, totem poles are raised for crowds of hundreds of people in places of honor and First Nations villages. 12. Time to create. Depending on the size and the carver's experience, a totem pole could take anywhere between three to nine months to create. That's a long time. That's almost like one year in school. Number 13. Cost of a totem pole. If you really want a totem pole, you can still have an artist carve you one but it will range in price between $25,000 and $60,000 each. You better start saving your allowance money. <laughs> All right, we learned so many things. We have at least 
13 facts here. All right. So what I want you to do now is I want you to tell me four important facts that you learned today. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to pull up this sheet. All right. And so what we have here is our main idea that what we have been learning about are totem poles. And I want you to think of four important parts that you can recall about totem poles to either write in, the, in this detail bubble or you can record them. Remember I want four. One, two, three, four. I know you can do it. All right, I look forward to hearing what you have to say, Sydney. Um, thank you for listening to the Totem Pole article.